Give it up for Dan Air, Dennis Mailer! Yeah! Oh, hello everybody! Thank you guys for being here. We're gonna put this here. How's that sound? Does that fit perfectly? Thank you guys for being here. This is fantastic. I love being back. Anybody here go to Otakon this weekend? Just the anime convention that was in town? I got to go. My friend had an extra pass, gave it to me, and I had so much fun. I did nothing but take pictures of cosplayers. I uploaded so many pictures of cosplayers and people in costume to Instagram. ATT called me and said, fuck you, stop it! <laughs> You're using too much. I have an unlimited data plan, so they hate me. They keep trying to slow my internet now. It's like, dude, this is a futile effort. I am not giving up. I will put whatever I want on the internet. I, I'm a patient man. I'll let it take time. And anyway, it's great being back here. I love being back in Baltimore. Um, very recently, because I started getting a little homesick because I remembered something. I, you guys know the song Superstition by Stevie Wonder? Yeah, good song. I remember, I heard the song recently, I remembered back when I was 19, driving around in my car with my best friend, listening to Superstition by Stevie Wonder, volume cranked up, windows rolled down, just singing at the top of our lungs, and a cop car pulled up next to me at a red light, rolled down his window, I'm like, oh, sorry, officer, turned the volume down, and he looked at us and went, you boys don't know shit about Stevie Wonder! <laughs> Turned up Superstition by Stevie Wonder on his own radio. Peeled wheels and then drove away through the red light. Like, do you understand the only thing more badass he could have done in that moment was just pop off caps as he drove away? And that's proof not all Baltimore City cops are bad. This is why I love being back here. You guys laugh at that. Everywhere else in the country, they just go, ooh. And I was like, guys, I'm from Baltimore. I have to explain that I'm from Baltimore. And they go, oh, that makes sense. We get it now. You have a stabby vibe. OK. <laughs> Man, I tell you what, it was heartbreaking for me. I'm not going to talk about the riots too much, but I will say something about it. Um, it was heartbreaking for me living in Boston, watching what was going on in my neighborhood, watching what was going on to my neighbors, you know, to all of us, to you guys. And I couldn't help but think while I was watching it on the news. If I was home, if I was here while this was going on, I would be looting too. <laughs> Not that I condone that kind of violence. I just don't want to get caught on TV by my friends not looting during a riot. Like, Dennis, did you leave a $20 bill on that counter before you burned down that CVS? <laughs> no, why would I? Why would I do it? That's crazy. I'll tell you this, though. I have, uh, I was following a lot of the news on WBAL uh, through their app online and just listening to all the news going on. And I honestly listen to more BAL news during the riots than I have ever had on the AM band that's not an Oreos game in my entire life. It was strange. And I even have friends that work at BAL and I did not listen to the station. But uh, I do, I, you know, we know, I'm sure everybody in the room here knows an officer personally, right? Make some noise if you know a police officer personally. Whether you want to or not, you know one person. I have friends who are cops. I know there's good cops, there's good cops, there's bad cops. You know, I have friends who are police officers now that I have bought weed for as a birthday gift. <laughs> Very recently. <laughs> no, that like, I think it pulled over, I got pulled over a lot, but one time I got pulled over again, my best friend was in the car. I get pulled over, cop takes my license registration, goes back to the cruiser, gets out, comes back, guns drawn on me, gets me out of the car and starts grilling me about the information on my license. What's your name? What's your address? What's your zip code? What's your house number? What's your birthday? And after a few minutes, I'm like, oh, sir, is there a problem here? He goes, yeah, how much do you weigh? I don't know, 210 pounds? Yeah, this is 160. It's obviously a fake. Turn around so I can handcuff you. It's like, oh, sir, that was taken four years ago. I've clearly gained some weight. I appreciate you reminding me of that. All right, what I'm saying, cops are dicks, guys. I think we all agree. Cops are dicks. <laughs> oh man, I've had so many dumb things I've done in my car with my best friend. Uh, because out of all my friends, I was the first one to get a car at 16. And one of the things they always bugged me about was to play mailbox baseball. Do you guys know mailbox baseball? 
It's terrible. It's the worst thing. To, if you don't know what it is, mailbox baseball is when you go driving around with a bat, reach out the window, and just start smashing mailboxes. It's terrible. It's, I hate it. I said, no, I'm never going to do it. Not going to do it. No, no, no. Finally, they, I was like, all right, fine, we'll do it. I just wanted them to stop asking me. But I said, on my terms, right? So I took them out to Edgemere. And I know this street. I was like, all right, when we come around the corner, hit the first mailbox you see. Come around the corner, very first mailbox is four foot tall and made completely out of cement. <laughs> you can prepare yourself for how hard you will laugh at your friend for hitting a concrete mailbox. You cannot prepare yourself for how hard you will laugh when he falls out of the car at 30 miles an hour. <laughs> I'll pretend there's sh something going, oh, because I really want somebody to go, oh, because he's, he's fine, obviously. He has a list now, but he's good. He's no, he's good. He has two beautiful, lovely children. One of them born on my birthday, his son, and I share a birthday, which is uh, great because it explains why he's going to be drunk at all his son's birthday parties. <laughs> Honey, I'm just celebrating Dennis's birthday, too. It's his special day. But, uh... I do remember when I went to his first birthday party. When, did anybody here ever go to a birthday party for a one-year-old? Ah. Fucking pointless, isn't it? It's the worst. I uh, I went to his first birthday party. I didn't know what to give him because he's one. He's not going to remember anything. So my <laughs> present to him was a bushel of crabs and two cases of Natty Bell. <laughs> but I did it all cutesy. What I did is my, another friend was bringing a toy box. So what I did is I took the beer and the crabs and we put it in the toy box and we walked it in and we were like, Theory of, yeah, my friend named his son after a character from the HBO original series, The Sopranos. Theory of. Come on over, Theory of, open the box. He opens it in his beard. We're like, oh, we're having a good time. And uh, to this day, uh, he just had a birthday the other week, so or uh, last month, so did I, and he just turned this tall. I don't know how old he is, guys. I'm a terrible friend. But he just had a birthday. I just saw him this week because I was in town, and uh, that toy box still smells like beer. <laughs> and it's fantastic because now I smell like all his favorite toys. Uh, you guys, my name's Dana Dennis Mal. You've been fantastic and wonderful. Let's all keep having a good time.